I'm Emily and this is my sailing dinghy Finn. Finn is a Chesapeake Lightcraft Eastport nesting pram slash Eastport pram. It's kind of a hybrid because I modified um, the plans a little bit to suit my needs. And I've been sailing around today and I just thought I would give you a little look at my sailboat. I built this boat over 10 or 12 weeks in Florida in a carport. And I had the plans sent to me from Chesapeake Lightcraft and everything else. Uh, I did, with the help of my husband Clark, who has built a few dinghies before. <laughs> Have a cadaver, she is sawn in half. Um, we added a lot of really cool details to this boat. So there's this part that I did with a jigsaw, kind of a little sea life mural. My daggerboard plug is the shape of a dolphin. We've got these little cutouts look like fish here that I'm kind of proud of. We utilized some reused materials like this old anchor line from our big boat temptress. I learned a lot about working with wood and sculpting with wood and working with wood grain and uh, working with tools. I got a lot better at using a jigsaw in the process. So this has been a really cool learning experience, the process of actually building it. And now I get to sail it. Thought it'd be fun to take you along when I go sailing today, so hop in and we'll go sailing. It's a fairly easy boat to sail. It points pretty well into the wind. It's really fun to sail downwind and to sail on a beam reach. Uh, when the wind fills up the sail, the lug rig, it, uh, it's a lot of sail for a little boat, so you feel like you got a lot of power. And uh, yeah, it's fun to surf around and just play on the wind. Another thing I really like about this boat is it's not super tippy. Uh, I can stand up in it while I'm sailing, which especially in the Bahamas and in coral, um, shallow areas, I can look around and kind of look down through the water and see what's going on there. Um, Sometimes I hit a ground, <laughs> but uh, I just pull up the centerboard and uh, readjust and keep going. Uh, it's a pretty stout little dinghy. I like it, and I like that uh, I can also fix it using just regular old tools and epoxy. Uh, there's definitely been some dings and some scuffs. This isn't one of those dinghies that uh, old man builds in his garage and then takes out on the weekends and polishes and keeps all nice. This is a, a rugged uh, get out and play with it sort of dinghy. In fact, it needs a little bit of varnish right now. Uh, but I like it that way. I like that it's well used. When I first built this dinghy, we thought we were going to be like a two dinghy family and have two very utilitarian boats that we kind of use equally. We have a motor for this one, we've got oars for this one. It does hold two people, it holds a lot of weight. It's not nearly as dry as the other dinghy, um, but it's a definitely a fun little recreational vehicle anyway. I don't know if I would want it as a primary dinghy, but it certainly is a fun little toy to have and to carry around. and. This dinghy allows me to explore little shallow places and hidden places that our big boat won't let us go. And that's Finn. <laughs> 